Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to fix the heated seats on the first generation Kia Sorento. So my seats have stopped working, I can't get them to work. So in this video, we're going to diagnose what the problem is and how do we fix it. Okay, ignition on. Let's turn on the seat. Okay, so underneath the seat, we found this white and black plug. So obviously they're two different colors. So we separated them. That's now power to the seat removed. So we have the switch currently on. For the heated seat, you see the little green button up there. So we're measuring the black and the blue wires just here. Coming back, so the ones on the left and the one in the left middle. Coming back here, we have power. So that's 11.6 volts. If I turned off the heated seat, we'd have zero. So that's the one we're looking for. So the two plugs are just together. You can see it there. Okay. So now that we know that we have power everywhere else, it's probably realistic to say the fault is with the seat, not with anything in the wiring of the car. Okay, next thing we have is this blue plug. There is a white plug way off down there, but we don't need that one. So we're gonna look at this blue plug. What we're gonna do is separate it and check the continuity of this side, which is the side going up into the backrest. So we're going to check the continuity that there's a circuit there. Okay, so what we did was we separated the two plugs. You put the meter into the side, into the back of the wire going up into this half. And we are checking for continuity. Obviously you don't hear a beep, so there's no continuity. And we're just gonna check the resistance. And the resistance is 68 mega ohms. So obviously there's no circuit there. So it's open circuit. Um, that should be 1.2 ohms. So yeah, we are way off. So what we're going to do is separate the back from the seat and probably there's a wire somewhere damaged in the back of this seat here. So we've said it's probably realistically this side. Actually, before we do that, what we're going to do is put in a jumper wire into this side, which is not the going up to the top, is actually the bottom loom. And we're gonna put a jumper wire in here and that'll simulate that the back is actually perfect because we know it's not but we want to check that the seat itself is actually working. So the way this key is wired, uh, normally you have two separate circuits. One is the safety circuit and one is the main actually heating circuit. It looks like everything is just one continuous loop, kind of like Christmas tree lights in series. So what we're going to do is put this jumper wire in here. This is going to be the backrest for the heated element. So that's going to be simulate that. And then we're going to check that the base or the bit you sit on is actually heating. So we're going to stick that, that in there now. Okay, that's plugged in now. Let's see if the seat gets hot. Oh yeah, don't forget to plug that back in. <laughs> Otherwise it definitely wouldn't get hot. Okay, now let's do it. Yep, so we have this heated seat on. My base is getting warm, but obviously the back isn't. So now we know that the base is actually good. It's just that the backrest is damaged. So let's open up the backrest here and uh, have the back seat cushion and figure out what's wrong with it. Okay, now we're going to pull it out there. So that's one clip undone. You can see the little clip just right there. So you just pull it out this way at the bottom and then we're going to pull it vertically down. We should pull off all of this plastic trim here now at the back. So yeah, don't forget to pull it straight down, not up. So down. Ugh. Okay, now I need two hands for that. So I've already jumped a bit in the product. So you pop it out at the bottom, pull it down that will release this panel here so you can take that out of the way okay now we have the back removed now time to take out each of these clips they're only like j clips so they're in the shape of a j and they just hug onto that like just claw onto it we do that one there as well and then at the bottom it's the same here but there's two hog rings so there's one there and there's one there all you do is just get a pliers something like that put it in there Give it a pull and it'll actually open out. Okay, on to the next job. Right, now that the back of the chair has been released, let's go around to the front and see what we can find. Here we are at the front of the chair and we're just going to pull up these. So, <clears throat> Aha, look at that. There's a wire broken. So there's the cable at the back and that's where it broke. So it didn't just break because I pulled it back this way. Look, 
you can actually see it where it was broken and look there's a little burn mark so we open that look. look at that there's the burn mark so what we're going to do is very very careful where's it one very very carefully we're going to strip some of this back we're going to strip some of this back and then we're just going to resolder it and that should uh, complete the circuit again Okay, now we're going to take our little wire strippers, put it there. Okay, there we go. Okay. There we go, that's the wire now all shiny. So we're going to attach our multimeter in continuity. So I just pick one of the pins, so we'll see if this fixes it. Otherwise what we'll have to do is swap that around because I don't know which one is which. Oh. Perfect. That means now that's where the problem was because it wasn't making a circuit. Okay, that's now the broken side soldered up. So there's a bit of heat shrink there on it as well. So that's now done. We now have our test probes connected into our connector. About to turn it on, go up to ohms. This should be about uh, one ohm. Yep, there you go, one ohm. 1.1, 1.2, yeah. Now we're going to continuity. Making a full circuit, so that's it now fixed. So now the biggest job is to put it all back together again. Now that we're putting the seat back, this is the last one now to do. Ah, there we go, it's back in. So when you're putting it back, don't be afraid to pull the leather a bit, because that'll keep it taunt. And then it'll look nicer when the seat is back together again and you see it from the opposite side. Okay, now that we have it all back together again, that's our connector, you see it down there. We join the two blue plugs together and then we'll give it a test. And then when it's all working, we'll just finish off putting it all back together again. These little clips, they just go underneath and just hook onto anything that's there, just to hold it just nice and tight and just keeps it all looking neat. Okay, let's give it a test. Success! Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes sitting on the seat and uh, my back and my bum are both warm. So uh, I think the heated seats are working again. Woohoo! So if you're really enjoying this type of content and you want to see more of it, Give it a thumbs up, subscribe over there, leave a comment down below, and as always guys, thanks for watching, see you later.